Yeah, the US, the US is, is the largest cannabis market in the world. Most estimates are that over 80 billion of product is sold annually. The growth of the industry thus far has been a state by state story. As every state goes through the medical program, then through the recreational program, you see that growth state by state. Currently, we have 38 states that are medically legal and 24 of those states are fully adult use uh, legal. This has created uh, a 30 billion plus legal regulated market and the gap to the 80 billion, which consists of everything else as the illicit use, we continue to close over time and more and more states legalizing the products become uh, trusted, they'll create sources that are trusted and safe. Uh, and as, as that continues to happen, we will see more and more conversion to the legal market and that's where the, the growth will continue. Uh, it will it will pl it will play over many many more years, and this does not even capture the opportunity that additional R and D will provide once cannabis is legalized federally. So I see huge growth opportunity for the industry. Look, we shared we shared openly that we intend on being a consolidator in the market. Uh, we have sufficient enough scale, uh, ample access to capital, a capable management team that I'm so proud of, the right sponsorship from our executive uh, chairman, Jason Wild, who owns 30% of our shares, an ample greenfield opportunity to expand and consolidate. Uh, you know, maybe I'll give you an example. I've talked about Michigan. Michigan is a good example where, where consolidation can happen. Michigan by itself alone is a 3 billion plus market with over 600 retail locations and no dominant player in the market. So Michigan is a is an, also an unlimited license state and we have our sites and, and we have our intentions and we shared openly that we would love to acquire more dispensaries there to add to our existing store footprint to further solidify uh, and strengthen our market share in that in that uh, in that market. Uh, you know in our also in our last earning uh, earnings call we talked about Greenfield expansion opportunities for Terrasan. We highlighted our focus and determination to entering Ohio market this year uh, as one of the opportunity. But we also talked about the possibility of transformational deals. Uh, given our focus, state footprint, and limited overlap, our complementary footprints with several other opportunities that we are seeing, both public and private, will make perfect sense. And, and that's why we're looking at 2024 at the year of growth. Sure, look, the biggest challenge for all of us, all the operators in the industry is to, to be agile and to have quick ability to adapt to a changing landscape. landscape. The industry will continue to evolve at a rapid at a rapid pace and in, in an unexpected way because every state does things differently. Our ability to be nimble, adaptable, uh, disciplined, and opportunistic has driven our success so far and will continue to drive our success going forward. So we'll deploy the same approach, the same discipline as as we grow. Uh, our goal is to be uh, both uh, one of the biggest and the best. Uh, cannabis company. We seek to become uh, one of the top operators in the industry. Today, as measured by revenue and market cap, uh, we, we, we feel that we have the biggest opportunity to grow. Uh, we have strong fundamentals and growing on, and taking advantage of that opportunity as well, what will allow us to reach uh, those two goals I mentioned. Uh, the strategy to achieving those goals will continue to be building our strong foundation, building strong, passionate team in our existing states and use and and and, and use M and A opportunity to expand our footprint and to acquire uh, uh, good assets and good team members. <laughs>